A large asteroid is approaching the moon. Asteroid TC4 measuring between 30 feet and 100 feet is set to pass the Earth on October the 12th at a distance of 27,000 miles, an eighth of a distance to the moon. This makes it one of the largest close approach asteroids to brush past the Earth this year and present NASA with a valuable opportunity to test out its planetary defense system. What makes it so important enough to do a video on it is number one, how close it is, and number two, the next day is Friday the 13th. Not that I'm superstitious, but something hits me about this asteroid, and I watched a lot of dreams about uh, people saying that they saw an asteroid before the end came. Also, people having dreams that something big hit the moon. So, let's watch this. Uh, I think there's an asteroid coming. You think there's an asteroid coming? Tell, yeah. tell look at the camera and tell. Uh, Why do you think there's an asteroid coming? So we, they can see you. Okay. Like, I don't know. But I think there's one coming. If, if what you're saying is correct, if an asteroid comes, then God would take everybody. But everyone dies. Well, not the die, not the the bad of the um, angels. Not the bad angels. This is the Earth view, so we would be down here with this piece coming towards us straight from above. It grew very large, very fast. So we ran into the house to watch to see if it was on the news. I felt like we were out in an open field and I just saw the whole open sky and it was like not dark, but it was like towards the evening time, like dusk and um, I saw a full moon a perfect full moon coming out of the sky like a baseball like a fastball getting thrown to the earth also on October the 5th there's a full moon it bothers me for the, this month I don't know why and the 6th and the 7th bothers me being a Sabbath day <clears throat> because I guess if you watched enough stuff and you heard enough stuff and you read enough stuff and then your brain is a brain that resolves and puts it together uh, things start looking dangerous you know or you know it, it's something says be cautious on these days and you know it's always something ain't it like something of biblical proportions is always getting ready to happen ain't it and it, it seems like the Lord is uh, making everyone cry wolf for a reason and that way he kind of like uh, distinguishes his people from them you know the others and how because if you cry wolf too much the people don't listen anymore and then if you listen to what he says to how the end is going to come you're going to catch everybody off guard because they didn't all heard it before a million times you know and it ain't like I put the asteroid out there I didn't any, it's not like I have a big large telescope to see the asteroid I don't you know basically we are uh, trusting what everyone who can see it says that they see you know some kind of blind faith in it and then we're gonna read Revelations 9 number 1 and we know the only blind faith is in God but you know uh, if they've been right about other things that passed and media showers and all that who's to say they're not right about this Revelations 9 1 and the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fall from the heavens unto the earth and this is another troubling thing about this asteroid and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit so people were saying they was discerned when it's a large asteroid you know did you know um, that somebody described something that sounds like the rapture and it was so interesting to me because it makes sense to a large strange degree and it was about positive and neg negative electromagnetic fields and I've been studying positive and electric magnetic fields for a little while now and uh, supposedly those who are righteous have a positive EMS electromagnetic field I, I do know that and basically that affects everything around you so we have a 15 foot I don't know if it's 12 to 15 foot right off my top of my head electromagnetic field around us and that is called our fear of our sphere of influence and it is 
and basically when you get close to people if you have a strong positive uh, magnetic field people pick up on that and if you get close to people and you negative is all hell and you got a, neg a negative magnetic field uh, you affect people with your negativity and the people don't want to be around you you know so um, a lot of people when they panic out watch the computers because uh, something happens with the electromagnetic fields of everybody like in large groups when they freak out the com computers and stuff and the radio and everything else start going crazy you know ain't that crazy and just like I said before during the um, world trade bombings uh, they was picking up people's electronic magnetic fields on radar you know and they was trying to figure out what it was you know and I also said they probably was testing uh, Nibiru with that which is supposed to uh, draw nigh when uh, there's largest amount of negativity or evil and they also got an evil magnetic field if you don't know that you know so it's, it's people in this field of study and they studying how e evil electricity and magnetic fields work and how good magnetic fields work you know they touching it's almost like Star Wars man like the force be with you and there's an evil force and there's a strong force you know a red pill or a blue pill anyway I, I totally believe it because I've been studying it for a while you know so supposedly when uh, the iron planet Nibiru passed by the earth and the meteors fall those with positive fields go up and the negative fields are magnetized to the earth to get stuck and struck by the meteorites like in Sodom and Gomorrah so basically if you think about a magnet if you turn a magnet on one side where the magnet is negative and you have a positive magnet they almost like retract each other but if you turn a negative towards a negative they smash together or a positive towards a positive they smash together and so if you uh, read 1st Thessalonians 4 17 it states after that and that's after everything go down we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and could it be possible that's how you know we don't know but you know nevertheless it's interesting wrapped in this